Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today, we are talking about the project estimation. Do you know that over 66% of projects overrun costs? In this video, we'll describe a software estimation process that helps to avoid overspending. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Why do we need software estimation? Estimates provide value to both clients and providers. So, clients get information about the time required to complete the project and the approximate project budget. For the provider, estimation helps to organize work and set deadlines, define the optimal number of developers, and calculate planning metrics. Having more than 10 years experience in estimating software projects, we are excited to share some ideas. Watch further to know how to organize the software project estimation process. First, define a project's complexity. Before starting any work, define your project's complexity to understand the team capacity, risks that can influence the project's duration, and a best fit methodology to use. Then add a risk buffer. Add a risk buffer of up to 20% of the overall project time to avoid common risks, such as issues that are hard to foresee new technologies you will have to implement, miscommunications inside a team, etc. The next aspect to consider, time eaters. We advise adding at least 20% of a project's time to cover various time eaters, such as talking to PMs and colleagues, reviewing the code, conducting research, etc. It's also important to predict the team capacity. Well, after you have identified all team members, create a table that displays their roles, responsibilities, and the estimated time they're going to spend on their part of the project. Then write user stories. They give the development team a vision of how a certain feature should work and look like. And for more information about the best practices of how to write user stories, check out our article, User Stories Acceptance Criteria, Best Practices and Examples. The link is in the description. After you finish with user stories, the next thing you should do is break each story down into a series of tasks, each one having an estimate of story points. Story points are units of measure used to estimate the effort required to implement a piece of work. A nice way to assign story points to tasks you are going to perform is to use the planning poker. For that, give a set of poker cards to each team member and name the task and let each team member choose one card. After that, let team members explain why they have chosen particularly that number for story points. Don't forget that only those who are responsible for completing tasks can vote for story points. And what do you think? Is planning poker an effective practice or is it a time waste? Share your thoughts under the video. Your final step is to calculate the project duration. Last but not least is to combine all the knowledge you have gained and to split the whole project into sprints. Gathering the findings of the steps from above, you'll get the formula duration of the project equals overall task time estimation, which is E, plus E risk buffer, plus E time eaters. Actually, there are five common project estimation techniques. The first one is top-down estimate. According to this approach, you first estimate high-level chunks of the feature and then decompose them progressively into smaller chunks as you get more details. The second technique is bottom-up estimate. Here, each task is estimated individually, and then those estimates are rolled up to give the higher level numbers. You'll receive more accurate results than the top-down method, but it requires more time. The third approach is analogous estimating. It is used if your current project is similar to past ones. You can take the data from previous work and extrapolate it to provide your estimates for the new project. The next approach is parametric estimate. It auto-calculates estimates using detailed data from previous activities. It is a quick and accurate method, but needs robust data to feed it. And the final technique to review is three-point estimating. It calculates the average of an optimistic, most likely, and pessimistic estimate of the work. This is often known as the PERT, Program Evaluation and Review Technique. And let's mention useful tools to track estimation. Among the most common tools we define, Jira with its multiple functions, 
Trello for project management and task tracking, Asana that allows organizing all the details of your work, Google Sheets and MS Excel, which are good for calculation purposes. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We provide software development, UI UX design, and testing services to top brands worldwide. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share our own experience in software project management. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to like this video and hit the bell button. Bye for now.